Hello everyone, I am Sir Fraz from MobileSMSPK.net and today I will do a comparison between Qmobile Noir LT700 Pro and Qmobile Noir J7. So let's get started. I have already made preview video of Qmobile Noir LT700 Pro and recommending you to watch that video as well. Qmobile LT700 Pro is available in Pakistan for Rs 15,500 and J7 is available in Rs 18,500. Both phones are actually made by Gioni and the Gioni model of LT700 Pro is F103 Pro and Gioni model of J7 is P7 Max. I will do this comparison in different rounds like round 1 for design, round 2 for display and so on. If any phone wins in that round, I will increase its score by 1. And this will help us to decide which phone is the winner at the end of this comparison. So in round 1, we will look into the design of both phones. Both phones are made of plastic and both feel solid and sturdy in hand. Both phones have similar design language as well. Let me show you all the sides of both phones. Both phone has 3.5mm headphone jack on the top. Same goes for right side of the phones, both have volume rockers and power button. Microphone and micro USB port at the bottom of both phones. Nothing on the left on both phones. On back, both phone has 13 megapixel camera along with LED flash and speaker grill at bottom. Back cover of LT700 Pro is made of matte finish plastic and don't attract fingerprints at all. While back cover of J7 is made of shiny plastic with ripple effects but it is fingerprints magnet. Sides of LT700 Pro is made of metal with chamfered edges but on J7 sides are also made of plastic. J7 has notification LED but on LT700 Pro notification LED is missing. Both phones have two dedicated SIM card slots and separate micro SD card slot so you can use two SIMs and micro SD cards simultaneously. Let me show you the weight of both devices. Because J7 has bigger in dimensions and has larger battery, so it is heavier than LT700 Pro. For me, LT700 Pro has better design because of metallic sides and chamfered edges and matte finish back cover, so LT700 Pro is the winner of this round. Let's move to round 2, which is display. LT700 Pro has 5 inch HD IPS display with 720p resolution while J7 has 5.5 inch HD IPS display with 720p resolution. Even though LT700 Pro has more pixel density than J7, but it is difficult to notice any difference between them from naked eyes. So I call it a draw between both phones. Now let's move to the next round and in this round we will look into the battery performance of both phones. LT700 Pro has 2400 mAh battery while J7 has 3100 mAh battery. Due to small battery, I have only managed to get 3 hours of screen on time with maximum brightness on LT700 Pro. While battery performance of J7 is impressive and it provides solid 5 hours of screen on time. So the winner of this round is J7. Now let's move to the next round and in this round, we will test speaker quality of both phones. Both phone has backfiring speakers, so let's see the sound of both phones. J7 speakers are louder than LT700 Pro. So the winner of this round is J7. Let's move to the next round and in this round we will compare the benchmark scores of both phones. LT700 Pro is powered by 1.3 GHz quad core 64 bit processor while J7 has 2.2 GHz octa core 32 bit processor and both phone has 3 GB of RAM. Here's the into two scores of both phones. And here is the Geekbench single and multi core scores. Both N22 and Geekbench scores on J7 are better than LT700 Pro, so this round goes to J7. Let's move to the next round in which we will see the boot up time of both phones. Let me boot up the phones on same time.
LT700 Pro is the winner of this round as it boosts up faster than J7. Now let's move to the final round. In this round, I will do a speed test of both phones. I will open multiple apps and games on both phones on same time. I will also check memory management of both phones by switching apps and games loaded into the memory. So let's begin the test. I have opened several apps and not a single app is loaded faster on LT700 Pro. Now let's open some games to see if LT700 Pro can catch up J7. Only Leo's Fortune loaded faster on LT700 Pro, while Subway Surfers and Dead Trigger 2 loaded faster on J7. Let me check the task manager and see that all the apps are still stored in the memory. It is looking like both the phones can handle multiple apps in the memory quite well. So the winner of this round is J7. Because of more powerful 2.2 GHz processor, J7 outperforms LT700 Pro in this round. Here is the final scoreline. J7 wins that comparison. So that was the comparison between Qmobile LT700 Pro and J7. I hope this video helps you to decide which phone belongs to you if you are planning to buy any one of these phones. I will bring more videos like this in future so if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do it now. If you like this video please hit the like button and if you have any questions, feedbacks or suggestions do let me know in the comment section below. For more information please do visit my website.